Greetings.
accepted. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you want all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Probably some big, important student council business. Nah. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. Hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. Have fun sweeping the hallway! What? Where did that rule come from? There's something you have to know. Do you remember the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but... The fact is... There's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. I don't know. It may be related to her persona abilities, but that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yori. You see, she's probably... Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's unbelievable, but although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. Iori? Did I hear that right? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But 
Iori. She probably... Chidori? Chidori's... alive? <laughs> uh, hey, Junpei! What about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast, and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kinda... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to storm in. I agree. Iori? Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it... really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming, am I? Dreaming? It is you. Chidori. Who are you? Huh? What? I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, it hasn't quite hit me yet, but it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then, but as for you all... Iori. Nah, I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills. When you're having a nightmare, it ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy, and I... I think... there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori! Take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it, it may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that... Excuse me, are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. 
Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Supposing you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... <sighs> That's none of your business. Chidori! Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori! H hey! Why are you crying? I, I, I can't help it. This... This is seriously the happiest moment of my life! <laughs> Accepted.
Where have you been?
Let's begin, shall we? I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate or entering the workforce? I s well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, then I believe that is what you should do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. You've really matured over this last year. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Hmm? I'm sorry I went off on my own. It's nothing, really. I just needed some time to think. When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. You know... In the past, if I didn't understand something, I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet. But I want to learn the answer. And I think I can, if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. <sighs> Thank you.
up, dude? Thank you. 
Welcome back.
All right. This will probably be the last time we meet like this. Is everyone ready? Um, can I say something? I know that we have to defeat Nyx. But if you think about it, that means we'll be getting rid of the Dark Hour. So our memories may disappear. But even if that happens, I want you all to know, I won't forget you. Even if it robs us of all of our memories together, I will still remember you all. <laughs> we know you will, Yucatan. I won't forget you either. Neither will I. I will not forget you, Yukari-san. Don't worry. Even if you do forget about us, I'll remind you. Yeah, so don't worry about it. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay. Then after the battle, no matter what happens, let's promise to meet each other again. Good idea, but where should we meet? I don't think it should be the dorm. We'll come back here anyways if all goes well. Hey, shouldn't we also decide on when we'll meet? Yeah, it should be a special day. What about graduation day? When the dark hour vanishes, our memories might not disappear right away. So we shouldn't plan to meet too soon after the battle. And there's no day that will have more significance to us all. Wow! You're really smart, Yukari-san. Graduation day. Yes, that will be easy to remember. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. Graduation day it is. Now. Where should we meet? It should be somewhere where it's easy to recognize that peace has returned to the city. And when we meet again, we should remember how we're feeling right now. That no matter what may happen, we will never look back. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But you'll just have to wait. All right, then. Let's get going. Yeah. Together. I will do my best. Good, because I'm counting on you. This is going to be easy. Yes, it is.